Today I'm going to be doing an overview on the Ruger AR556 MPR chambered in 556. Uh, I will show you a few things right off the bat that do not come on this rifle that I have added just because I shoot lefty or just because this is my normal rifle and I just didn't feel like taking them off before the review. I have changed out the charging handle just because it's easier left-handed this is a little bit bigger charging handle i've added a bad lever to it and of course the scope does not come with the rifle this rifle does not come with any sights that's one of the downsides to it and of course my front sling mount so we'll start at the front of the rifle uh comes equipped with a muzzle brake that works efficiently it doesn't send any blast back to the shooter and tends to blow it all straight out to the, to the sides and to the top and bottom and it keeps the rifle very stable it is a 18 inch barrel with a one and eight twist with a full length or yeah full length rifle length gas system with a free floating m lock handguard with picatinny at the 12 and at the front end of the handguard you have M lock on all positions once you move down you have it on the bottom and the sides with a pictini rail down the whole entire length get down here it is a flat top receiver with forward assist brass deflector dust cover all standard with a decently beveled magwell the rifle came with one gen 2 magpul 30 round mag at least in my area i'm sure in areas that have magazine restric restrictions would come with something else it has magpul moesl hardware and the grip and uh, six position stock it has a commercial, or sorry, it has a mil spec buffer tube. This particular one comes with a two stage trigger, which again, we're clear, with about a two pound take up, and then another, and then an additional two pounds break, which I just put higher. So two pound take up, very slight, to break. with a very audible reset to fire. It's standard mil spec hard anodized finish. Mostly everything on this rifle I believe is mil spec. It is a single sided safety. It has Ruger branding in quite a few places. Has it on the side of the receiver, side of the handguard. It has it on the top back here. If I can show it to you, right there is another Ruger emblem. And I will get into the internals now. So hang on a second. We will start with the lower and standard takedown pins. The buffer. There's a look at the trigger assembly. So you can tell it's a standard uh, style trigger, not a drop-in trigger. I have been happy enough with it that I haven't even really thought about replacing it yet. And then magazine catch, all that. The only malfunction I've ever had with this firearm was with a very cheap Pro Mag. And it was just more or less, it won't... Hold the bolt back on empty and that's the only uh, issues I've ever had with this and it's only with one specific magazine and now we will go into the right, upper look in the upper like I said it's very clean no issues there bolt carrier group again just very standard fair you can see it's a uh, staked pinned okay. 
I've had no issues with this, and I've had probably a few thousand rounds through it at this point, and I've been very happy with it. If anyone has any questions, you can leave them down below, or any comments, and I ask uh, if you would join us at the Reloaders Network and Headspace at the Reloaders Network. It's a good place for like-minded firearm enthusiasts and reloading enthusiasts. And I uh, hope to see you there. Have a good one.